Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and today I will be teaching you how to paint this easy watercolor robin. Let's get started. We are first going to start our painting by drawing out just where our robin is going to be resting and then also we're going to draw in some tree branches that are going to be in the foreground. So to start we are going to make kind of like a little perch for the bird by bringing a line straight down the middle. And then we're going to have one just a little bit to the left of that line, kind of coming off diagonally. And then the same on the right, coming off diagonally. Just kind of straightening that out. And then we are going to make kind of a rounded shape connecting these lines. So this is going to act like a little bird feeder. And then I'm just going to bring a little curve down to give this little resting place just a little bit more depth. And we want this line to connect all the way to that far one. So I'm trying to keep my lines very light and loose so it's going to be easy to erase because these are just going to be the guidelines to show us where everything is going. And then I'm just going to draw a little wavy line coming up. And off for our branch. just like that, just to add some dimension in the foreground. All right, and then I'm going to lightly erase our perch and then we can start painting. For this next step, we are going to fill in our background before we put in our bird. So I'm gonna take some clean water on my size 12 round brush and I'm just going to fill in this entire area with that clean water. And then I'm gonna go into some sage green and black mixture with that same brush and I'm just going to start tapping that in on the left side, leaving some purposeful white space to give the appearance of just some snow in the background. Just going to deepen up that tone. And I'm just going to kind of have that coming off to the side right there. It's fading away. And then I'm going to switch, so clean my brush off completely. And then I'm going to go into just a little bit of brown paint. And I'm going to tap that in over here. Again, leaving some purposeful white space. And then I'm gonna get a little bit more of that green. I'm gonna kind of carry it over here. Just kind of tucked up off to the side there. And then I'm gonna take 
the lightest mixture of gray. So just a lot of water with a Payne's gray and white mixture that I've used in the past. And I'm just gonna tap that in to blend these colors kind of down and together just to kind of connect everything a little bit. And then I accidentally went over my white space. So just try to sop up some of that. A little bit of that right there. And this is just going to be a fuzzy background that is going to just kind of make everything else in the foreground seem more prominent. So now we're gonna let this completely dry and then we're gonna move on to painting in our bird. So now we can go in and we can paint our robin. So I'm going to switch over to my size six round brush and I'll make sure it's that it's completely clean And I'm going to create a circle in the center of our bird perch that we already did. So it'll be really hard for you to see, but just with clean water, create a circle. And then a tiny little semicircle off to the top left side for the bird's head. And then while this circle is wet, take some brown paint on your brush. I've mixed together Payne's Gray and Burnt Sienna. And while it's wet, you're just going to take the tip of that brush and you are going to pull that along the back of your robin. And I'm just going to tap in a little bit more just because I want this to be the back of the bird with it kind of facing around like it's looking over its shoulder at us. So I'm just going to create this, leaving a little bit of extra white space. And then I'm going to take that same paint color and I'm just going to bring some a little bit of it down for the feathers. And then while this is still wet, I'm gonna switch to my orange, my cadmium orange that I've already mixed up. This is just straight out of the pan, nothing mixed in with it. And I'm just going to tap that in to the face and a little bit down the belly. I'm gonna add a little bit more pigment and just sharpen that up. All right, and then I'm going to let this dry and I'm just gonna let the paint seep around and kind of just go where the water naturally pulls it. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that brown on the tip of my brush, and I'm just going to very lightly tap that in, just to kind of give, to show us where the belly and the rest of our landscape start and stop. So just like that. All right, so that is all we're gonna do for the robin right now. We're going to let this dry and then we will come back. So now that our bird has completely dried, we are going to use Payne's Gray to give our bird its eyes, beak, and feet. So I'm going to switch over to my small brush, round brush size two. And with a dark mixture of Payne's Gray, you can also use black if you don't have Payne's Gray. And you can also use a black ink pen if you're not really confident 
with using um, a brush yet for these tiny details. So for this, I'm gonna come to the beak and I'm gonna start a little bit inside the orange. I'm just gonna pull that beak right out, tiny little triangle. And then I'm just gonna get a little bit more paint on my brush and then right back here, just give it a little eye. And then down here, we'll give it its little leg. I think I'm going to give it another leg right back here. Kind of tucked behind because it's looking back at us. Just like that. And then while I have my small brush out, I'm gonna continue on with that Payne's Gray. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of burnt sienna to get a really dark brown. And then I'm gonna come over to that branch that we initially drew, and I'm just going to make really wavy, uneven lines. Just kind of tracing over that sketch to give us a nice little tree branch in our foreground. Trying to keep the branches smaller and thinner as they kind of come out and off. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more Payne's Gray to that just to darken it up. Payne's Gray and a little bit of black to that burnt sienna mixture. So I'm not using a ton of water just to keep it as dark as possible. And I'm just gonna go back in just like that. So there's our tree in the foreground. And then I'm going to switch over to just straight Payne's Gray again, now that our bird should be mostly dry. Because all we're worrying about is the beak, eyes, and feet. Everything else about the bird should be completely dry. And I'm just gonna go in Our little bird feeder. Paint in this circle and I'm going to use some clean water to just kind of lighten up that Payne's Gray mixture and just bring that in under our bird just to give this some depth so the outer edges are a little bit darker where the center is going to be a little bit lighter. Gonna work it under the bird. Using a detail brush for this step will be is very helpful just because it'll help you avoid touching the bird as much as possible. So I'm just kind of glazing over the feet. I'm not gonna work too much in that area just so I don't blend the two together. And continue that over here.
So just like that, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more depth underneath, just kind of pulling that out, just so it doesn't seem so flat. And since it's underneath, I want this to be nice and dark. And there we have our little bird feeder perch. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of make with the tip of my brush little wavy lines coming down. Because I want this to be like a chain holding it up. So I did one wavy line and then I'm going to come back the opposite direction. just like that for that chain. So just using the tip of my brush with that Payne's gray paint. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So just a very loose, light, wavy line coming down. not making these lines too thick. And for this last line, I'm just gonna come down the center. It's going to be very light. And it's gonna come down in front of our bird because he's gonna be tucked inside our bird feeder. Just like that, I'm gonna get a little bit more paint on my brush, just not too much, just a little bit, just to darken that line just a bit, because it will be closer to us in the foreground, so this chain would be a little bit darker. Just like that. All right, we're gonna let this dry and then we might add a little bit more paint to our robin. All right, we are gonna add just a little bit of some darker brown tones to the back of our robin. And I'm going to start by filling in this area with clean water and I'm avoiding the chain that we put in place. And I'm going to go into that dark mixture we used for the tree. I'm just going to pull this paint right in. I'm just going to tap that in. To the back of our robin. Just kind of up the head a little bit. Down into the tail. Just because I felt like it needed just a little bit more depth. It just really dried very lightly. So I'm only tapping it in where I put the water so that it'll keep that loose blended look that we had. All right, and once, actually, 
And then one last thing we are going to add before everything dries is I just want to add a little bit of blue to my background. I just feel like it looks a little too washed out. So I'm just going to add some water down below. And just a little bit over here. And I'm just going to take just the smallest of the smallest amount of cobalt blue with a little bit of Payne's gray just to dull it down. Just going to tap that in. Just kind of blend it out a little bit into that white. And then I can't remember can't really see where it's wet over here, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I'm just going to add that same blue paint just to our background because I just felt like I needed a little bit more contrasting color in this painting. And since I added that clean, wet water, it is just going to very seamlessly blend into the background that we already have in place. And there you have a cute little watercolor robin resting on a bird feeder. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like any extra details on this painting, head over to my blog, Reflecting Creation. I'll have a link in the description box below. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.